vegetable chowder. It's one of my family's favorites. You can use any mix of winter vegetables you like. And then I put in cauliflower to the soup. So I use either Brussels sprouts or uh, a half of a, a white cabbage in this. Get some potato in there. And I've got leeks and onion and shallots. Can't get enough onion flavor, enough onion action for me. Sweet carrots. Working on the parsley root and the parsnip, we'll get those into the mix. A beautiful, big, fresh bay leaf. Running my knife through one of each of these guys, and once you get everybody into the hot tub, so to speak, the salt will draw the liquid out, and if you put the lid on, but still allow some of the steam to escape, you're concentrating the flavor, but catching most of the heat, right? Dump these guys into the hot tub. I've got some shredded Brussels sprouts already. This is the parsley tops from the parsley root and a little bundle of fresh thyme. And we've already got the bay in there and throw it into the mix. We're going to add store-bought stock to this instead of just cooking with water. Um, and of course, if you want this to be a vegetarian meal, vegetable stock. Uh, I prefer the flavor of chicken stock. When we come back, we're going to talk croutons. Some of them for the meat eaters may involve bacon. <laughs> and that will be right after this. <laughs> is really just a pot of great nutrition. And now we have our garlic, salt, pepper. The veggies have been sweating underneath our uh, lid with just a little bit of a crack so the steam can escape. Now we're going to add the winter spices. It's a little sprinkle of ground cinnamon, or you can throw in a piece of cinnamon stick and take it out later when you take out the bay leaf. You can just add it to your herb bundle. A little cardamom, ground cardamom. Oh. Smells so good, beautiful. White pepper, we already have salt and black pepper in there. White pepper is very earthy and it's a whole different flavor entirely. Ginger, ground ginger, good teaspoon of that. And then a little or a lot, a teaspoon of, of dry mustard or if you like a spicier feeling, a warmer feeling, you can double that and go up to two. Now we're going to add acidity. We're gonna add about a half a cup of tasty, crisp white wine. And then we're gonna add six cups of vegetable or chicken stock. I told you I prefer the flavor of chicken. And then we let this cook until all of the vegetables are tender and the soup marries in flavor. Then you finish with just one cup of heavy cream. For vegetarian preparation, take big, giant, homemade stale bread croutons, Toast them in the oven with a drizzle of olive oil, salt, pepper, and I put a little granulated garlic. For meat eaters, I take olive oil and I brown up some bacon and then I toss the toasted bread with all the bacon drippings. <laughs> when we come back, we'll finish our soup right after this. Okay, so for our winter chowder, I've just added the cream. Remember, do that right before you're going to serve. If you want a super thick chowder, use a little less stock. I use six cups to one cup of cream and I find it's a perfect consistency. You can mess around with that a little bit. So, as I said, we bring this back to just a barely bubble. You don't wanna boil it once you add cream to anything. So we're gonna turn that way back down and then just a squirt of lemon right before you serve. Uh, remember to take out, of course, the bay leaf and your herb bundle and then to bake it or not to bake it is up to you. I chose to make the oven roast breadcrumbs and toss them with some parsley and lots of bacon and bacon drippings. <laughs> Yum!